What is up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Mystic Watch. And today we got a new, not patch notes, we got dev notes for part two of the anniversary. It's not that long, so it's gonna be a brief one, but it's gonna be explaining what's going on with the anniversary part two. And so far in anniversary, we've gotten a decent amount of things. We've gotten a new character, Elizabeth. We've got in a new raid, the the cow moose deer raid, and then of course hawk pass. But besides that, not really uh, too much else. There there hasn't been too much going on in uh, in Grand Cross JP surprisingly, and I was hoping for a little bit more. But glad to know that there's a part two coming out because the dev note said that there was going to be a decent amount of stuff coming for anniversary, or at least the previous dev notes. So let's go take a look. They did a lot of quality of life changes, I guess, but that doesn't actually translate to content that we can do stuff with. And for anyone else wondering about global stuff, I did get my Valenti to 80, and I'm working on getting Green Lilia up, and then once I do that, I'll probably make a PvP video, because I just want to do like full on, you know, full resistance, defense, you do no damage to me squad. But let's get on for today's video. So. From the top, Grand Cross officially hits one year anniversary, apologize for any inconvenience, bugs and stuff, thank you. However, for everyone who's played the content, huge motivation, okay, okay. Oh uh, yeah, that, that didn't really say anything. Power of Trials, I am interested in this. And I'm wondering if it's going to be anything like, if you played Epic 7, maybe I have an idea. Uh, maybe it'll be like um, Abyss, or like... Automaton Tower? I don't know. That that came out after I stopped playing. But the one thing I am familiar with is uh, Abyss. So let's take a look at what we got here. Tower of Trials. As previously mentioned before, we will bring in the Tower of Trials during the Part 2 celebration. The Tower of Trials aims to keep players' motivations uh, to get stronger up high and allows you to get... Uh, allows you to experience the growth of characters in a tower type strategic gameplay. This is not content that will require repeated gameplay, but more of achieving the goal with your own strategy. We plan to update the tower regularly. In addition, the Tower of Trials will allow you to acquire the material for the new growth system Super Awakening. Super Awakening takes one step further on top of the regular Awakening and you can use Super Awakening coins drawn from the tower as the material. It is also possible to use Platinum coins, Gold coins, Silver coins, to perform Super Awakening instead of Super Awakening coins. In addition to that, the new PvP game mode Grand Brawl was initially targeted to release during Anniversary, but there are too many areas that are not refined yet, therefore we apologize that it will take uh, it will take a while more to bring that in game. We still have special events lined up in, up in the Part 2 of the Celebration, so please look forward to that. So before going on, let's take a look at this. Tower Trials. One thing that we know is it is a tower. They said not repeated gameplay, so to me, it's probably going to be like a floor system where you just uh, go as go as far as you possibly can, right? And the further you go, probably it'll get harder and require different things. Like yeah, uh, I, I don't want to call it like a gimmicky thing, but you, the way I, I'm literally just imagining Abyss, right, from Epic Seven. If you guys don't know what that is, is at, in Abyss you would just have like an opponent team or mobs or whatever, however they set it up, and each floor was different, all right? It would be like a different team you were up against, and usually they would have some theme behind it, you know, so it would require some sort of tactic to beat. And now, of course, you could always just like power through it if you were strong enough, but once you got to the later floors of a base, it actually got very, very challenging. So I'm hoping that this is something along those lines, where it gives us, sorry, I got up. <coughs> It gives us some sort of challenging content for endgame people, but it's also like meaningful progress, right? Like it's a way to check yourself or your account and see kind of where you are. So that's what I'm hoping this ends up doing. It's just, uh, yeah, there isn't that much like, like we have like plenty of things going on, but at the same time, there's like nothing to do, right? So it's like, what is like the goal of Grand Cross? Right, if you can, you know, we beat the story, and then it's just uh, PvP really, right? It's just getting your box better and doing PvP. So I'm hoping this gives us some sort of other meaningful game mode where we can, uh, you know, challenge ourselves or our accounts and units and see what's going on. Now, they did mention Super Awakening. So, Awakening, as of right now, unless uh, they change the vocabulary on me, Awakening refers to the star, the star enhancement, right? 
And if you go, like, let's say you want to evolve a unit, that's what refers to, like, the level up, right? So going from SR to SSR to UR to, you know, levels 60, 70, 80, whatever. But Awakening is a star system, and I actually mentioned this before, where I don't, I don't know too much about Dragon Ball Legends, but I'm just looking at, just visually, right? Where they had, like, the seven star system, and then now it's, like, 14 stars. And I don't, I don't know anything about it, all, all I've heard is bad things, but just uh, that, that kind of like visually brings up the same thing in mind, right? Where we have six stars and then Super Awakening will kind of be like a way to go, you know, like red stars or something like that. So that's, that's what I'm picturing. So that's what I see here and it's going to be a way to further enhance your character, meaning it's just like, a, it's just another progression for your character, right? We haven't had a way to progress our characters in a long time. Uh, I'm not counting like UR gear is the most recent thing and technically like costume enhancement but we got to level 80 back when uh, like a little bit after green Escanor right so that's when like around like blue Lilia demon Meliodas we were already at level 80 I'm pretty sure and that was a while ago and then we haven't gotten anything beyond that so I don't like I like it that they're changing it up so it's not just like here's level 85 uh that they're giving us something different uh i don't i don't want it to be exclusive by any means like the way the ur system is you know every single character needs their own set of gear is a pain but then besides that they also mentioned grand brawl which is a new pvp game mode that i was hoping would come out because i always love pvp but they said that there's delays in here so that's fine with me i was hoping it'd come out but if I was to guess, it'd probably be next month then. We'll probably get it in uh, July to August. Now, the only other thing that they didn't mention here that I was looking forward to is um, Guild Wars. Guild Wars wasn't mentioned at all, and they, in the previous dev notes, talked about Guild Wars coming out in Anniversary. So the fact that they didn't mention it at all here means it's probably not ready, and it's probably not going to come out until after Anniversary ends again. So similar to Grand Brawl. But, you know, take it as you will. So let's take a look at the second part. And there's only, you know, it was a short dev notes. So there wasn't too much going on here. Anniversary thank you box. We have sent a thank you box to all players. And the code to unlock that is happy one year or happy one or lowercase. In the dev notes, I would like to tell everyone about more thing. In the next dev notes, I would like to tell everyone about more things and more complete announcements as well as a new collaboration. We also planned to add a mission in patrol uh, dispatch to allow players to get more skip tickets. So... The only thing I care about here is new collab. It's been a while, we got, within one month of the game coming out, we got slime collab. And until then, you know, it's 11 months later. We haven't gotten another collab. And this is a game that can definitely utilize collabs very well, right? Like, it's one of, it's one of the games that visually is ahead of most of the other mobile games out there. So I'd love to see collabs coming out, and I mentioned this a couple times in my like full counter podcast with Zed and Neo, and we've gotten this question a lot, like who would you like to see in a collab? Personally, Demon Slayer of course is up there, uh, Bleach probably, I'd love to see Bleach out there, always a big fan, like you give me Dr. Stone as well, or like Dr. Stone is like harder to fit, but they could definitely do it. But yeah, definitely it would have to be Bleach and Demon Slayer. Like, those are my top collabs. And I know some people are saying, like, like I actually don't want to see My Hero as a collab here. I don't think the characters will fit at all in this uh, sort of game style. But that's just my personal opinion. So that's really it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know who you want to see as a collab. And uh, yeah, how are you enjoying Anniversary? How did your Elizabeth pulls go? My Elizabeth is currently 4-6 and my... Meliodas is 5-6. I'm probably going to do one last rotation and get guaranteed 6-6 Meliodas and then probably end it off there. I don't think I'll go for a 6-6 Elizabeth. It's just uh, too too much investment and I'll probably wait for more festival units to come out until then. But that's really it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and yeah, have a good uh, anniversary.